Howdy folks, uh, this is a very short video of me playing out a rather nice fish last night. Um, up here in Cape Ness it was pissing rain um, most of yesterday afternoon right into the, into the evening. And I decided to go up to the lock for a wee look. By the time I got up to the lock it was probably about quarter to seven at night and I thought, what am I doing up here? It was misty, peeing rain, wind from about 20 mile an hour was coming from the north northwesterly. I thought, well, I'm out here now, I might as well give it a blast. So I was only out for about an hour and three quarters. And uh, about half an hour into it, um, I was fishing one of my usual little spots on the northern side. Sorry, on the, ah, the northern bank. Fishing with my five foot little dipper, um, sink tip line. And I had two flies on. I had the size 10 Erlins muddler on the point, and then on the top dropper, I had a size 10 fluorescent soldier palmer that we had a, a red a fluorescent red tail and some yellow jungle uh, yellow goose bite cheeks so yeah i was just fishing a usual little spot kind of down 20 felt the the line straighten i thought okay, i've gone into some weeds here left it anyway as you always do and when i left it i just felt the line was just tight i thought oh, bugger got the, got the rocks or whatever and then the rocks started to thump and i'm like oh got a fish on camera turned on and then you see the you see the fight lovely fish Measured it up, 21 and a half inches long, weighed it, four pound on the money. Lovely looking to try it, especially this time of year. Um, somebody said to me recently on, on one of the uh, Facebook pages, like, uh, they were like, oh, lovely fish, Ross, but not in the best of condition. And this is the fish I've just had recently. And I'm, I would argue that. I would say, like, actually, for, the, for where they are, um, and because we've had such a crap um, spring this year, it's been quite cold, the insect life at the start of the, the spring wasn't as abundant as it should have been, uh, especially from previous seasons. I think the fish are actually looking not too bad, the bigger fish are looking not too bad, uh, considering, um, especially the last few months where the, the, the caddis and the, the hawthorns and the daddies and the thresholds have all been coming off. They're feeding pretty hard just now. So I actually think, in their defence, um, they are actually in, in not bad condition. And also, they're hemlock trout. They're not like your, your bog standard sort of stopped fishing these local stellabores. Yes, we put some of these fish in. I mean, I reckon these fish that I've had recently are anywhere up to four to five years old that we put in back in either 2019 or 2020, and they've grown on. Uh, because the feeding is rich when the caddis are coming off. These locks that I fish are rich in a lot of aquatic insect, like tons of caddis. So you get loads of caddis pupas, case caddises and all that, your hydrocyte larva and whatnot. Loads of corexa. And then at certain times of the year, you get your, your midge coming off. Primarily the last three months or so, it's been nothing but caddis and big ones as well. I'm talking size eight job, especially in the evening. And they've been gorging on them. So yeah, in our, in our club's fish's defense, I would say they're cracking fish and they put up a good fight. This girl was a little bit old, I think. She's maybe five or possibly even six years old. I was a bit aware till her, like. Um, but it's good to know that they're, that they're there. And that's my fifth decent fish over three pound that I've had. Just in the last month alone um so yeah the goal is to get something bigger but i don't know we don't have long left of the season but anyway enjoy this video i'm prattling on sorry there's a little bit of swearing in it it was a miserable night i'm gonna chuck out a swear word every once in a while again these videos aren't made for kids this is a grown-ups channel so enjoy it hit the like and subscribe and i'll see you all soon cheers for now it's fucking miserable Well, I hit the bottom there for a second. Oh yeah, I've got a good fish on here for these. Oh, I thought we had I thought we had the bottom for a second until I lifted into it. Just want to get this line on the wheel if I can. Come on. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, my, hey. oh yeah. Nice. I just felt a oh that's on the Erlins. That's on the Erlins cat. The Erlins butler. Oh. I think I think it's on the I think it's on the Erlins butler. Oh yeah. Give him a soldier hammer. Oh nice. 
Where's the soldier, soldier palmer muddler maybe? My line just went tight, I thought, oh, bottom. And then the bottom started to move. Oh, that's a beauty. That's a beauty. Oh, that's on the Irlands. That's on the Irlands muddler. Oh. I was just thinking to myself, what am I doing fishing in these conditions? That's a nice fish. Whoa. Let's fish that. Where's my net? Oh, oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Go down low. Try and see if I can get its head up a bit if I can. Oh, she's right next to me. Oh, there he is. Oh. Oh. Come here, you, come here, you slabs. Oi! Oh my god. Right. Oh, you're not going to that net, mate. <laughs> That's on the Irlands muddler. Oh, you're a slab. <laughs> you're a slab. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, that's a good, good fish. That is a good, good fish. That's a bloody good fish, that. She's a slap of the tail. Right. Green. Look at that, fuckies. Tail. Oh, just hold stuff. Look at that. I don't care what anyone says, these fish are actually in decent neck for them being hilllock fish. Size of head in there. She's a gorgeous fish. Absolutely beautiful. Look how thick she is along the head there. Big, thick fish. Lovely. And the pea and rain too. Oh, that's a brown drought and a half, that. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, it just goes to show you folks, if you think the weather's shite, it's still worth going out and giving it a crack, because you never know. That's another one for the logbook for the club. Thank you.